<laughs> okay, family. This letter is dated July 30th, and this is by 35 Diva Diva. And so I'm giving her name because it's not, you know, really some personal stuff. So I felt like, you know, I don't think she'll be insulted if I give her screen name. But it says, hey, hey, Tina, I need some help. Can you please tell me why and what to do about my fried chicken? I tried everything to help to have them crispy. I fry the party wings, not the whole wings, and the skin is always soggy. I've tried dipping it in egg, then flour. I tried the mustard thing. I tried milk, and I still can't get it. I have my fire up high before I even put the chicken in, so my grease can be real hot. I try. I tried to fry it in a deep fryer, or sometimes a pan. Sometimes it will be crispy, but after a while it starts to get soggy. It's not like you can. It's not like you can eat it later, and that crispy will still be there. So please, t Tina, tell me what am I doing wrong? Thank you. Okay, sister, this is what. Let me tell you the key of frying good ass. Um, chicken fried chicken okay the key to frying good fried chicken is it has to be seasoned well okay now me personally when I fry my chicken I only put seasoning salt black pepper and garlic powder not the garlic salt because if you use garlic powder in your season it's going to make it a little bit salty because you're adding garlic salt with the seasoned salt that you're putting in there so now you're going to have some stuff that's going to be a little bit too salty so you don't want to do that you want to use garlic powder next thing is i season my chicken early like if i'm going to cook if i'm going to fry chicken for dinner in the morning i'll get up and i'll season my chicken if, if the chicken is already frozen the night before i take it out Okay, like say for instance, if I'm gonna fry chicken tomorrow. Now, right now it's 10:19 in the p.m. So if I had if I had planned on frying chicken tomorrow, then what I do right now is I'll take my chicken out the freezer right now, and in the morning when I'm up getting the kids off for school, I'll um good night baby. Turn my TV down a little bit please. Then what I would do is I would um season my chicken. In the morning when I get the kids ready for school. After I season it up or what all I'm going to do, I just get a regular cellophane bag. Or, you know, if, if you don't have a lot of room in your uh, uh, refrigerator, I just put all my, I cut my chickens up. Um, I showed you guys how to cut up a chicken, I think maybe last year. And I think it's called how to cut up a chicken. Um, that's some old school shit. Nowadays, a lot of people ain't cutting up chickens. Motherfuckers is just buying legs, wing thighs. Whatever the get down is, and they just rolling with that. What's up, baby? Trying to get him out. He's not gonna go. He wants to be in here with mommy. Did you take those clothes out of the washing machine like I asked? Yes. Okay, so it's empty. Yes. Okay, thank you. So, anyway, um, so yeah, if you have a lot of room in your washing it, in your washing machine. If you have a lot of room in your refrigerator, then cut up your chicken or season up your chicken and you put it in a Tupperware bag. If you don't have a lot of room in your in your uh, refrigerator, you season up your chicken and shit in a sink and make sure the sink is clean first. Season up your chicken in the sink, put it all in a cellophane bag, double bag it, tie it up, make it airtight, you put it in the refrigerator because you want the chicken to be cool, okay? That's another good thing. You want the chicken to be cold when you begin to fry it. You don't want the chicken to be um, 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 room temperature. That does make a difference, okay? And that also makes it for your batter or your just flour or whatever to really stick on the chicken is the fact that the chicken is already cold. You can't fry chicken and it's room temperature. It's not going to come out right, okay? So that's the first thing. The second thing is... You know, a lot of times you want some fresh grease, okay? So, me, myself, in my home, I fry anything I fry, I use canola. I don't fuck with corn oil. I don't fuck with the corn and the vegetable mix, the, the corn and the canola mix. I just keep it 100 on canola. 
That's all the fuck I get down with. It's better for you. It's a monosaturated fat, which is one of your best fats as far as frying. Um, you don't want to fry with lard. You don't want to fry with shortening and none of that shit. Fuck the red box. We not doing red box on chicken. You know what I'm saying? My mama used to do that, so I'm all I'm 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 already on that Rex and the red box, the lard and shit. It makes good ass fried chicken, but now it's just not good for you. Okay, now you want to go with your canola if at all possible. It all costs the same, so motherfuckers will be like, "Well, I ain't buying canola. That shit is higher." No, the fuck it ain't. Canola, vegetable, corn, and all the motherfuckers, manzola and, C- and Crisco and all the motherfuckers, the same. Okay, and and nor does the name brand make a difference whether you cook with Manzola or you cook with Cristo or you cook with Kroger. All of the shit is the same. Okay, so it doesn't matter what brand, but if at all possible, if you have a choice and which one are you gonna grab, I would grab canola by far first because vegetable oil is a saturated fat and you really don't want to put that in your system. Now, you want to go with a monosaturated fat, which is your canola, which is much better and much more healthier for you. That is considered as a healthy fat. So, if you're good and if, if, if you fry a lot like myself, I fry a lot. So, being that I love fried food, I ain't going to fuck with vegetable when I know goddamn well I'm going to fry some shit at least twice out the week. You feel me? Okay, so now we got that taken care of. Now, let's move right along. Next thing is. You don't want your grease too hot. If the grease is too hot, what it's going to do is it's going to burn the outside of the chicken. And what's going to happen in there by the bone? By the bone, it's going to be raw. So you don't want to, you don't want it too hot, okay? Because if the grease is too hot, you fucking up already. You fucking up already. It's just going to burn the flour and it ain't going to be no good. So whenever, if you have an electric uh, range... Then you're going to put it on medium heat. If you have a gas range, which is your stove, okay? If you have a gas range, then therefore you want to turn your fire on. And you don't want, like if you're looking at the flames, you don't want the flames to turn yellow to that orange. Okay, that means the fire too high. That means there's more oxygen coming in there. You want to turn it on till you know, it's, it's still blue. You know what I'm saying? Where it's still blue, that's good. Because then therefore, it ain't going to get too hot. It's going to get hot, but it ain't going to get too hot. And too hot means that it's going to burn your shit up and it ain't going to turn out right. The next thing you want to do is, now I know a lot of people, they uh, dip their, their, their chicken in buttermilk and then they put it in the flour. Some people dip theirs in a little egg wash, just regular eggs. It's called an egg wash, but, you know, just regular egg. They dip it in the egg, then dip it in the flour. See, me, I don't season my flour. You know, whereas a lot of motherfuckers are seasoning the flour. You know, you really want the shit down to the bone. To have chicken that's so good down to the motherfucking meat bone is when you season the chicken. In the flour, you can put a little bit of sea, uh, a little salt and a little pepper in the flour to get the flour a little taste if you want the crisp to have a little taste. But the main objective is to have the meat down to the motherfucking meat bone that's bumping. You know what I'm saying? You want that sh- you want to you want to bite into the motherfucking chicken all the way down to that motherfucking bone and shit and it's banging. You know what I mean? Not so much as the crisp. So when motherfuckers is in there and they and they seasoning up the goddamn flour but they ain't put shit on the meat, you fucking up already. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to do that. If you want your crisp to have a little taste to it, then put a little salt, a little bit of pepper, and do it moving. Put a little bit of garlic salt in that, but just a little bit, because see, now you done already done seasoned up the meat already. You don't want the shit to run concurrent, and now the shit is salty, and motherfuckers ain't want to eat it. You know what I'm saying? So you want to put your little uh bop in the flour, taste it, see what it tastes like. If it's on deck, then boom, let's do it moving. Next thing is, some motherfuckers um, cover the chicken uh, as it's frying with a lid on it. Well, when you put a lid on it, what you're doing is you, you, you're building up condensation, okay? And you're building up like a steam. 
like on some KFC type of motherfucking situation. If you're looking for crispy, then you don't want to cover it, okay? If you're looking for KFC, then you want to cover it, if that makes sense, okay? Um, so, and then on top of that, when your chicken is done, another thing, another mistake that people make when they're frying chicken is they use a fork and puncture the chicken. You don't want to do that. What you want to do is go on down there to the 99 cents only store, Ross, DD's, whatever your get down is, Bed, Bed, Bed Bath & Beyond, whatever, and you want to get you some tongues, the silver tongues, okay? Not the plastic ones, because now we fucking, what we doing? We're putting it in grease. It's going to melt, right? The plastic ones and the wooden ones are for tossing salads. And for picking up ice cubes is the, is the, the excuse me, the plastic ones is for ice cubes. The wooden ones are for salads. The ones that are a metal, like an aluminum type of substance, that is for frying and for real hot shit, okay? So that's the difference between your tongues. There's three kinds, okay? You got wood, you got plastic, and you got a metal. Okay, that's what the purpose of those are, okay? So I don't want to see motherfuckers using the motherfucking silver tongues getting ice and shit. You know what I'm saying? That ain't what that's for. The plastic ones is for ice. But let's get back to the motherfucking meat bottom line. When you use the tongues to pick your chicken up out of the grease, then what you're doing is you're leaving all the juice inside the meat. When you put a fork in it, you letting the juices escape from your good ass chicken, see? And what you want to do is you want to let it allow it to brown anywhere from two to four minutes per side. 